Sorry, Goyle. I'm not in your way, am I? Who's going to be petrified next? I'm allergic to wigan tree bark. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Your blood. What's the password? But I can use that to get into the Slytherin common room. Pure blood. Goyle.
There's something different about you, Goyle. You don't look so cruel and stupid. What's up, Goyle? You're just a second year student. I don't have time to talk to second years. Looking for Draco, Goyle. Huh? Oh. 
You don't look as hungry as usual, Goyle. Where are Draco and Crab? The House Cup belongs to Slytherin by right. Gryffindor won't rob us of it this year. Gryffindor. Oh, it's you, Goyle. You don't Gryffindor. seem yourself today. Draco's looking for you, Goyle. I think he might be up in the boys' dormitory. You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? There you are, Goyle! I've been looking all over for you. Come on, follow me. You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. And as for Saint Potter, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's Slytherin's heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco. I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it. The hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. Where are Draco and Crab? to try to keep my distance from the Slytherins and sneak out. If they spot me in here, who knows what might happen? Who knows what might happen? Something's not right. Professor I Snape! The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from holiday. If a ghost can be petrified, the students thought, then no one is safe. The first years moved around the castle in tight-knit groups, afraid they might be attacked if they ventured out alone. A furious trade in talismans, amulets and other protective devices was sweeping the school. In the meantime, Harry had learned that Draco Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. But if it isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry, who is it? Hurry, Harry. It's time for our defense against the Dark Arts class. Not his class again. 
It'll be wonderful. Professor Lockhart is going to teach us Spongify. It's a great day for a Quidditch match. Rain or shine, day or night. Poor clumps on the pitch or ghouls in the stands. Nothing keeps the crowds away from a Quidditch match. The pitch is ready, the quaffles are polished. The bludgers are humming, let's play Quidditch! A glint of gold. Is that the snitch? Here comes the bludger! <gasps> Look at Potter go! He's after the snitch! The Raven Claw Seeker sees the snitch and will not be denied! Fluttering to Harry Potter! Hello. Hello, Harry. Professor Lockhart's class. What do you mean, we? 